Tigers' top 15 prospect Jake Rogers isn't oblivious to it. He knows he struggled offensively for a stretch last season, watching his batting average dip to 153 on June 1st. However, with hindsight being 2020, he also knows why. Just getting too big, you know, my, my, the path, my swing path is what matching up with the pitch path, you know, and that's a big thing is, you know, you want to you want to match up with the pitch coming in. So you have, you know, more room for error and uh, kind of timing doesn't have to be perfect. And last year, my timing had to be just perfect in order to hit it. And, you know, that's why I was struggling early on, you know, for that month or two. And, you know, it, it was it's really uh, that month or two really humbled me. And there's a lot of things that, uh, that I, I kind of figured out as a hitter during those two months. And really propelled me into what I am today. Which is a guy who got promoted to Triple A Toledo in May after hitting 302 with a 963 OPS over the course of 27 games with Erie. Driving that success, the swagger the West Texas native has become known for. Confidence, you know, getting up there and, and uh, wanting to be the guy to drive those runs in. Wanting to go to the, go to the, the ballpark every day and, and get a little bit better. And wanting to be the guy up there and uh, is, is a big deal. I love his demeanor. I love, I love you know, he's got a he's got a, a quiet arrogance about him that I think is needed behind the plate. To me, teams take on the personality of the guy that catches. Um, and thankfully for us, we have you know we have a, a really good one up there right now, a young guy in Griner, and we have another one coming in Jake. Still, Rogers doesn't spend his time daydreaming about his big league debut. Honestly, I just I don't really think about it. You know, that, that's the crazy thing is um, obviously us talking about it right now. You know, I'm thinking about it, but. As far as every day, you know, coming to the ballpark today, I didn't think about getting called up. I just think about, you know, coming to the ballpark and having a little fun, you know, and getting to play this awesome game that has been played for forever. That one is going to be gone. Solo home run for the catcher, Jake Rogers. He just knows to know how to be himself, and and he does have that savviness to him, too, so kind of relate a little bit. So, <laughs> But, um, he, you know, he likes to dance in the clubhouse, and I'll dance with him, so we kind of give each other dance moves back and forth and it's kind of just fun to, to be around him man he's a good teammate best catcher i've seen behind the, the plate and he can he, he's got a chance to do it all man especially when taking into account how stout he continues to be defensively widely acknowledged as one of the top prospects across the minor leagues in that regard the former third round draft pick threw out over 55 percent of would-be base dealers last year and so far in 2019 that clip is almost just as good that's a big thing is uh trying to just go out there every day and uh, be the same guy because, you know, obviously there's more to the game than just hitting. So, you know, that's that's a big thing at the plate is producing runs and stuff like that. But also, you know, I want the pitchers to feel comfortable throwing to me. I don't want to have a bad attitude back there. No matter what, though, Rogers will tell his hurlers what they need to hear when they need to hear it. Building that relationship, knowing, you know, what kind of, what kind of guy they are. You know, some guys need a kick in the butt and some guys just need a pat on the back. Some guys can handle crit criticism, some guys need that, that positive that positive saying, whatever it might be. I think of myself as a pretty personable guy, so getting to know those guys is just to build a relationship on the field as well. It's, it's been, every day I try to pick up a little thing, you know, whether it's something with catching, something with hitting, something with the approach, something with maybe a rule that I didn't know about uh, that's, you know, kind of deep in the rule book and just kind of picking up my baseball knowledge a little day to time. Okay. Getting the call to double A to AAA is a huge step, uh, but yeah, I'm just trying to keep my head down and play, you know, and just uh, getting ready for the call to go up there, and then whenever they need me, you know, I'm just I'll just be ready. Puerto Rican native Willie Castro may not have begun his minor league career with the Tigers, but on the road to Detroit is where he seems to belong. Castro's father, Liliano, was signed by the organization in 1987. Ten years later, Willie was born, and it didn't take long to see that professional baseball was in his future as well. Yeah, 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 I heard um, from his friends, I heard he was a really good shortstop, had a pretty good arm, and I think he couldn't make it to the big leagues, but I'm gonna do the job so I can make it to the big leagues soon for him. In fact, the 22-year-old can already envision it happening. That's gonna be our best level of our lives, you know. Um, like he always told me since I was little, hey, you know you could be a big leaguer, you just gotta keep working, I know you can. If I didn't make, I know you're gonna do it because you come from a family that everybody played baseball. Only Willie almost didn't. After moving to the United States when he was six years old, it was another sport that seemed to be calling his name. My dad was trying to put me on the baseball team back in um, North Carolina when we first moved to the U.S. And um, the team was for uh, the baseball team. So they wanted me to play in the, in the football team. And my dad said, no, he didn't want me to play that. He wanted me to play baseball. 
So he, he decided to move and to uh, Port St. Lucie, Florida, and um, I started playing baseball there. I was like nine, ten around there. From then, I started playing baseball every day from there, and, and I came back to Dominican so I could get signed. Inked by the Indians at 16, the switch hitting shortstop came into contact with another former Tiger, Travis Fryman, who served as his manager in short season A ball. I appreciate a lot of uh, what he told me. He told me a lot of stuff that my dad told me too. Um, and uh, you know, my dad, they played together. And then when Lowe, I heard, and he told me everything, a lot of stuff that my dad told me. And it was a really good relationship uh, when I was in the Indians. He helped me a lot every day. And um, I really appreciate him to, um, to get me to this point. If it, was, if it wasn't for him or my dad, I wouldn't be here. Next pitch, uh-oh. That served up high and deep to right center field, a changeup that hung and is banged off the scoreboard, the very top of it, for a three-run home run for Willie Castro. You know, Willie's obviously swinging the bat, you know, extremely well. I think, uh, you know, hitters hit and good hitters hit, and Willie has a, does a good job of getting the, the bat to the ball. The 1-0, here comes a swing and a little blooper into shallow right. This is trouble, and it's down for a base hit. It was one of, one of the most successful years I had this year because the first uh, month, of every season, I was like uh, struggling a little bit. And uh, this year has been a really good, successful year. I think I gotta keep it up and everything is, is coming from my routine. Along with bulking up, listed at 165 early in his pro career, the Mud Hens game program now has him listed at a solid 205. The result, a batting average above 300, along with an OPS better than 850, while leading the team in doubles, triples, and total bases. I have a training condition back in Dominican that he always helped me a lot every day. We just, after practice, we just go out uh, to the gym and work out and um, eating well. That helped me a lot, eating well, and just work. You know, every time I come out in the field, I just work on what I need to work on, and then after that, I just work out with him. Our job is to find out what makes him go and, and get the best out of him on a daily basis and get them prepared for what is, what's in store. Everybody wants to be a big leaguer, but a lot of people don't want to put the work in to become one. Coming out the field, get 1% better every day. That's my mentality every time I come out here. Just focus on the little things that I got to get better. And something that my dad tells me every day is, you know you're a good player, just keep, keep, uh, keep your head up, keep battling, you know, you're going to get there one day.